welcome to Crafty Ames Workshop and I am going to work on something and I'm hoping it's going to turn out really well. So first I went to Dollar Tree and I found a whole bunch of awesome things and one of them was this little puzzle of the llama. I love this picture. Look at that. So I think that's what we're going to do right now. So let's open it up. 100 pieces in the kids section. I'm going to hurry up and build this and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with it afterwards, hopefully. So the first thing you want to do is always find the ones, or this is how I like to do it, find the ones with the straight edges or the corners. Okay, so I kind of split them up with all the fur and the eyeballs. They're over here. And then all the other colors, mainly the pink. Um, oh, there's a fur. Um, they are over here. So those are all those. Fur and eyeballs, corners, and straight sides for the edging. Okay, now I'm just going to work on the edges here. Alright, I've got the whole frame. And I did uh, miss finding some of the pieces, but uh, what I did was... What I did was to spread everything out because I could not find what I was looking for. So, now I'm going to start working on the inside and I will come back and show you. Uh, I will tell you this about the Dollar Tree puzzles. These things are very low quality, obviously, and I knew that. But man, they're so thin that they won't even stay together. I'm surprised these are together right now. But every time you go to put one down, they come apart. So this is definitely getting glued together. So let me work on this a little bit more and I'll come right back. So I've decided to start with the eyes um, because they're so prevalent right there. You can tell what they are. So let me see. Let me do a little. See how they just come right apart? I mean, I don't know if you can see it. You can't see that. Okay. They just come right apart. They're so thin. Let's see. So that's what I got so far. Okay, I am at the end of it. I figured you guys would want to see the last few pieces going in. As I built it and it got more solid, it wasn't as bad falling apart. It's still falling apart, but... It's a whole lot easier to deal with. I just love this little thing. That this picture is just too cute. Okay, I found a piece of cardboard that's pretty thin and I'm going to carefully hopefully Get this on the cardboard. Okay, I'm going to attempt this. I'm going to put this cardboard on the edge of my table here and see if I can get it off easily without issue.
what I'm going to do now is get out my old handy dandy Mod Podge and hope for the best. Um, I usually use the puzzle glue. I don't have any puzzle glue. If I do, I don't know where it is. So, we're going to get out our Mod Podge. You could probably also use a glue all. Just water it down maybe, or maybe not. It's up to you. Okay, so I'm going to use this one, which is the Gloss Luster. Alright, I'm just going to get a big brush. And I'm just going to start painting it. And if it sticks to this cardboard, that's fine. Just more... It'll just um, give it more strength, which I'll probably end up gluing it on this anyways. That's if it doesn't completely get messed up from this wet glue. So we'll see how this works. Mod Podge usually dries clear. And there are a ton of different Mod Podges. So if you guys go to your craft store, just check them out. I have not tried, I have several different kinds, but I, because I've not had a chance to do a lot of crafts, I haven't got to play with them. So one of these days, I will do that. I'll probably end up putting a couple coats of this on if this works out the way I'm hoping. And that piece just does not want to stay down. Now you could probably use a cloth if you don't have a brush. Um, you could use those sponge brushes to put this on. I actually have a Mod Podge brush. I don't know. I moved my room around, guys, so maybe I'll show you the update of it one of these days. Um, and the reason for why I changed it around. But for the time being, we're going with this. So I'm going in different directions because of the puzzle pieces being in different directions. So. I'm trying to make sure that the glue gets into each crevice, which will in turn help hold the puzzle together. Because as you've seen, they are pretty cheap, thin, and does not like to, they do not like to stay together. So this is probably too much glue at one time, but little overkill so let's wait for that to dry um, I started this at six o'clock it's now seven o'clock so that just took me a whole an hour to build it and to put the gloss on so we're gonna give it some time to dry and I'll be back Okay, it has dried. This is the next day, by the way. Um, and this is just one layer of the Mod Podge gloss. And before I do any more layers, I have decided to try and glue on. I found these at Dollar Tree. They're for your nails. But I'm going to see if I can put it on this puzzle. So I'm gonna open it up. This is called Nail Art Pen Blueberry Scent um, by Sassy and Chic. Got it for a dollar, of course. Let's see what we have here. Wondering if there's different sizes or if they're all the same. Looks like they're all the same. So what I was thinking about doing was putting one of these little 
diamonds in their eye, in her eye. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, ooh, I like that quite a bit, actually. I wish I had a smaller one, though. And then I would put one... Come on. If it was smaller, I'd put one below it because there's another white spot. I don't know if you can see it from there. But I think I'll just do the one. That's just really cute. If you have extra diamond painting diamonds, you could use those. Um, but you get quite a few. Look at that. And I kind of spread them out. There's, there is quite a few. So diamond or um, Dollar Tree, and this is Sassy Chic, Sassy Plus Chic. I want to see what this is smells like. Does it really smell? I don't smell it. Okay, but we're not going to be using that one. So I've decided I'm going to use diamond glaze to glue them on. Okay. One little dollop. It might be too much. Oh, well, it dry, dries clear. Diamond glaze dries clear. So it should be okay. Okay, we're going to move that one out of the way. Put a little dollop there. Lay that one on the top. I don't think I want to put any anywhere else. I think it's just the eyes. I just wanted those eyes to glitter, and I think that made it happen. So I need to let that dry. And then what I'm thinking about doing is instead of continuing to use the Mod Podge, is if I have enough to use the Diamond Glaze. It's a water-based dimensional adhesive, so it might give it a little bit more of a glassy look. Um, and then, because I know Mod Podge can be a little sticky depending on where you live. Let me show you what I got so far. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I've decided that I'm going to paint just the edge around before I do anything more. And I'm going to use, if it's any good, I haven't even looked at it yet, the Delusion, Dilusions Paint. And this one is Bubblegum Pink. Well, it's been a while, guys, since I've used any of my craft supplies, pretty much. So we will see if I can use this. It looks nice and thick. So hopefully it's still good. Just be as careful as you can. Don't get any on the puzzle, although it looks like I have. I'm gonna see if I can wipe it off, but if not, I'm not gonna worry about it because, well, you'll see in a minute. Yeah, and you might wanna put newspaper down, but look at me. <laughs> Gonna have to clean up my mess and hope for the best. Okay, guys, this um, has dried long enough. If it's still wet, eh, it is still a wet, but it's not bad. So we're gonna move on. What I'm gonna do now, because that can continue to dry. Always have your Clorox wipes around. Um. 
what we are going to do is put this diamond glaze on. Let me find a brush that is a little soft. Oh, this one's kind of soft. My brushes are old, well used. <laughs> I probably need to buy some new ones. Okay, so here we go. Um, and by the way, these, um, they feel like they're dry already, um, but I'm still going to be gentle with it. It's just been a little while, probably about an hour. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start, this is, I'm sorry, this is the Diamond Glaze Water-Based Dimensional Adhesive, so it should bring it out a little bit. So I'm just going to start pouring in little sections, take the brush and just kind of get it in there real good. I'm not going to do a whole lot because I do want it to be a little bit thick. Okay, and I'm just going to keep doing that all the way through. This should be enough. I don't, this bottle is pretty big. By the way, this is like my, I tried it out the other day on just a piece of scrap board that I was uh, playing with and I had drawn some stuff on it just for fun. Um, and I put this over it because I wanted to see how it worked. And so I did glitter and then I did, um, I put glitter on top of it and then I put glitter on the paper and then I put it on top of it and it turned out perfect. So I am at this point point it came out clear too it was not like a yellowing there was one that I used that did yellow and I can't remember which one if I think of it I'll put it on the video or down below so you can see but that one yellowed but that was like a while ago so they may have improved it since I don't see a lot of bubbling. There is some I'm noticing. But maybe once it rests a little bit, it's probably not helping that I've got this brush that I'm using. I'm going to try and go real flat with it instead of using the bristles. The bristles may be making it a little bubbly. So that's what it looks like now. Look how shiny. Okay, let's let that dry. Okay guys, this is not completely dry, at least on the puzzle part of it. Um, but I am going to go on to the next thing to do. Um, this side seems to be pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead because I want to get this done. I need to measure how this, how thick this one is, because I'm going to make everything that thick. So, that's about a little less than a centimeter. So, I'm going to measure this to be the same. I'm going to go ahead and draw a line. Okay, that works. I love my new setup in my office, by the way. One of these days, I will show you all. Now, I need a razor. Let's attempt to do this. And because I'm trying not to 
use the puzzle piece or put my hands on the puzzle at the moment. I'm doing it this way so you guys may not see exactly what I'm doing. I'm just putting the ruler up against the line that I just drew and I'm going to take this and go over it right up against the ruler and I'm probably going to go over it a few times. Oh, I feel it. It went through. Okay, so let's see how I did. Almost. Same thing with this side. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Pink all the way around. And then what we're going to do, oops, make sure you shut your razor. I'm going, I had some of this ribbon, um, let's see, it's called Lavender Tassel Ribbon, um, I think that's Hobby Lobby with that price tag there at the clearance, but it is, yeah, Paper Studio, and so what it is is just little tiny tassels, which is what is on the llama. There's no purple one, but there is purple through here, so I'm going to use it. I have a pink one, but it's a light pink, and it doesn't really match real well. So we're going to go with this. So I'm going to, you know what, let's do this. I'm going to start in the middle, see if that would work better. And then go, yeah, that might work better. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right, I'm going to start gluing right on the edge of this. And go all the way around and I'm gonna start in the middle so that when I come back around I'll be back in the middle and if I need to do anything more with it I can put you know if you don't like to see that seam you could put something there if you wanted so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use my hot glue gun for that as well start in the middle sure you use the right side. I'm gonna go up against it to where it's actually on it a little bit. For this corner we're just going to turn it, that's all, because this is, um, this is able to do that easily without making any real difference. So let's do that. We're going to go right up against it. Okay, and quickly and as precisely as you can get it on there so it's it's right up against before that glue dries. All I'm doing is pressing it down. If I need to glue it more later, I will. I think that looks really good. I'm going to turn it again. If you glued too far over, that's okay. Just lift it up a little bit. And then we're going to glue all the way down again. check that always check to make sure you have enough product oh my lands I do not have any more <laughs> oh, wow I wonder if Hobby Lobby has any more I'll have to go buy some probably not now how do I get this done Let's see. Oh no. 
Well, that's what it looks like so far. Okay, let me think about what I'm going to do now. Okay, so I have figured out what I'm doing. And I'm hoping it turns out good. <laughs> so, here's my pink. Like I said before, I'm going to go ahead and use it. <sighs> yes. Make sure, lesson learned, <laughs> make sure you have enough of your products to do that, do whatever you're doing. So we're going to cut off this one little one. I was thinking about just ripping this off and going back up here and that way we would just have pink on the bottom and purple on the top but this is on there so good that I'm just going to leave it alone and I'm going to continue on with what I was thinking about doing which is I have some fake flowers sitting right here in front of me and I think it will go perfectly with this. Okay, everybody, so what I'm going to do is I have all these little Dollar Tree flowers that I bought, who knows, last year or year before. Um, and what I'm doing, I just took one of these, and instead of clipping it from here, I'm just pulling. So all you've got left is that, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take scissors, which I've done it to my flowers already. But I'm just going to get as close to that as I can without getting too close to the little green thing that's holding it together. But even if I did get too close, I have a solution for that because I did do that already. So I trimmed that off. Um, and that way I can get it on the picture a little bit easier. Um, but I'm going to take this glue gun. And I'm just going to dab a little bit of glue on it just to make sure that it does stay on. And then I'm going to take that. Let me do it over here so you can see. I'm going to take this, put more glue on it. And I'm going to stick it to the painting or the, not the painting, the puzzle that. Um, I think I'm also going to glue a little bit of the petal down, one por portion of it. And so it's going to get on the little tassel, so I'm going to put a little bit extra glue right there. So I'm going to do that with the rest of these flowers. So here's this one. I've already taken the little tip off. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on it just to make sure that it doesn't move. It's not going to come off. And then I'm going to take that and I'm just going to place it down wherever I want it. Right there. On this one, I may want to put a little bit more glue in the middle. I don't know because this is a pretty big piece of flower, this little section here. But we'll see here in a minute. I'm going to let it cool off and dry for a minute. So I'm just going to do that with all the flowers. And then I'll come back and show you what the finished product looks like. Okay, everybody, here is the finished product. Don't forget, we have the little diamonds in our little eyes. It's so cute. So I'm going to pan out so you can see. So we have, uh, these are the daisies, the wild daisy. This is lavender. This one is a... Uh, Gerb Gerbero daisies. 
That one I had to alter a little bit, but that one is a hyacinth. Um, the reason I had to alter that one is um, this little thing. Oh, it just wasn't working for me. And so I ended up, I, I made a mess on this side, on the, the first layer of this flower. <laughs> and so I thought, well, the only way I'm going to be able to remedy this is to put another flower on top. So I just kind of turned it enough to where the petals are every, you know, staggered. They're not on top of each other. And then I just lightly, I glued the this one together with that again waited for it to dry this time because I ha had been just putting them on there and then um and then I glued it on to the top let me see if I can then I just glued it real good on the top but I did not push hard on it um so that's why that's a double petal or whatever you want to call it so then that one stuck on there really good, actually, and I thought I was going to have to do some extra work. And I may later if it starts to fall off, um, but right now it's on there pretty good. So, uh, the way I did the lavender is I had put this one on already, this corner piece. And then I put this one at a time. There's two here. One at a time, I just laid it down underneath this one where I could, angled it the way that I wanted to angle it, and then I glued as much as I could before you'd be able to see the glue. So I went from about here down to the, the bottom of the puzzle. And I did that two times, once with this one, and then once with this one. I did the same thing. Let me flip it over so you can see the back and then I just chopped off I don't know if you can see it but I just chopped off right there at the at the tip or at the end of the puzzle right there after uh, you probably could you should have probably should have probably done it before um but I didn't so so, so that doesn't look bad. Even though I had to use the pink tassels, it's still, I got it covered up enough and it gives it a little bit of color also. So I'm pretty pleased with it. One more thing. I'm going to show you how I'm going to put something on here to, so you can hang it on the wall. So I'm just going to use a regular clothespin. I'm going to go like that. And then I'm just going to take my glue. You know what? Let me measure make sure that's right in the center because I want it to... You know what? It's probably not going to matter. Maybe I'll do two. And then I'm going to have forever... Uh, uh, forever um, glue strings. Okay, so let me glue those on and then I'll show you what it looks like. Alright everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully you can use something out of it and if you've done something like this let me know this is the first time I've done anything like this and I really like it and I'm gonna go put it on my wall now so let me go take some pictures and that's what you're gonna see next if you guys like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up subscribe comment down below and share with your friends if you like this video all right you guys I will talk to you later bye